Okay, so I'm gonna need you to use your imagination a little bit because this house isn't completed, but it does have framing that's gonna show you at least what the floor plan would look like. So it doesn't have walls or anything yet, but I'll point out where things are gonna go. And remember, we're not looking at the subdivision, we're just looking at the house to see if you guys like the floor plan. Um, and you guys can literally pick everything uh, from the ground up. The builder will give you a few options of everything. So if you don't like this black brick skirting, you could do a brown brick or a red brick. And if you don't like the board and batten siding, you could do traditional vinyl. So we just wanna see if you like this floor plan. So this is gonna be standard two car garage. And then coming in, right when you come in the house, this is gonna be your laundry room. So your entry from the garage, that's gonna be your dryer, that's gonna be your washer. On the other side, I believe this is going to be a closet because um, I don't see any plumbing to indicate it would be a half bath. So I believe this is just gonna be a coat closet. It's actually a really good size, probably somewhere around, I would say six foot by three foot. So really good closet size. And then immediately walking in, very open floor plan. This right here is your kitchen and this is your living room. So right here would be an island. You can tell by the plumbing. So this would probably be where your sink and dishwasher go. And then on this back wall where you see this other plumbing would be your refrigerator. And you can see they've got some rough ends for the plumbing and electrical for, we would have a lot of outlets here, which is great. Right here where this funky cord is I believe would be where your range so your stove and oven would go and typically microwave goes right above that yeah so you can actually see the outlet right up here so that would be microwave okay and it looks like your cabinetry will probably come down to where this board ends and then over here in our new construction we don't really do dining rooms anymore formal dining so this would be your actual dining space if you wanted to put a um, put a table there. Sorry, that door scared me. Yep. Then there would be your back door. It really just depends on the lot if they're going to do a deck or a patio. So for this one, because it's got quite a drop, they'll probably end up putting a deck on it, but they're not quite there yet. So remember that just, that kind of depends on the lot, but your back door is right back here, which is nice. One thing I appreciate about this floor plan too, is that your front door isn't all up in your business. So a lot of the houses you'll notice throughout Clarksville, you can kind of see the front door from a lot of the places you're hanging out in the house. And, you know, even if you're in the safest part of the city or out in the middle of nowhere where nobody else is, it's just weird to think that somebody could be looking at you through your front door. So while you're in your living room and while you're in your kitchen, you really can't see the front door, which is great. Got a fireplace. I don't believe there's there might be natural gas um, where in the subdivision they could build this house for you. So you might have a natural gas fireplace, but most of the time they just give you the gas logs and they always put it on an exterior wall. So running the plumbing to get a propane tank is not very expensive. Okay. Now back here on this wall is all of your bedrooms. We're going to start with the master bedroom, which is starting here all the way to here. Okay, walking in, this would be your bedroom. Really good size. So if you wanted to do a king bedroom set, how I would lay it out is put the king size bed over here with two nightstands. You could do a chest between this window and then your dresser in between these two door frames. And I, again, I know it's kind of hard when it doesn't have drywall. You're just looking at a bunch of sticks of wood, but I promise this is actually a really good size room. And this first doorway on the left is gonna be your walk-in closet. A pretty decent size. Going this way, you're probably looking about mm, eight and a half feet in length. That little nook back there, probably about three feet across. And then another three feet that way. Again, probably about three and a half feet this way and about five feet that way. So. It's a good closet and they'll, you know, they'll put in the hanging space and the shelves for you too. And then this next doorway is going to be your bathroom. Immediately on your left would be your two vanities. Over here would be, I'm not sure if they're going to do a shower tub combo or a shower. 
but this would be your, you know, shower, shower tub. It looks like they're going to do a shower. Um, just a freestanding shower, no tub in here. And you'll get a tub in your guest bathroom just because they've already got the the drain and all that stuff in it. Just by the way they have it framed, it does not look like they're going to put a tub in this one. Okay, back here, this is another closet. So this would probably be a linen, a linen closet. It goes in about three feet and it's about two feet wide. So they might make it extra hanging space for you. Not really sure. Okay, and then back here is going to be your water closet. So this is where your toilet is. Separate room. Which I recently found out that I guess calling it a water closet is a southern thing. And I don't know what people from other parts of the U.S. call it. But down in the south we call it a water closet. So, which they are awesome if you've never had one. One last view of what would be your bedroom. And you do have nine foot ceilings in here too in the bedrooms, which is great. Uh, common area, we're looking probably about 10 foot ceilings, which is awesome. You can see how high up that pitch goes too. So you'll probably get some pretty decent attic space. And, you know, builders only put down so much plywood. Um, we always say put the plywood down at your own risk. So coming down the hallway into what would be your main entry from the front door, we're going to have your coat closet immediately on your right. Okay, and then, okay, yeah, so you guys are definitely getting a freestanding shower in your bathroom because the tub is in the guest bath. So right when you walk in the front door, immediately across is going to be the guest bathroom. So they'll get a single vanity right here, tub or toilet, shower tub combo. Again, though, these nine foot ceilings are such a game changer. I don't know why some builders still do eight foot ceilings. Okay, so directly beside that, we're going to have guest bed number one. Great size. You could easily fit a queen size bed in here with a nightstand and a dresser. Good size closet too, actually. This is about, say about eight feet in length from here to here. Probably a front, it's going to be a French door closet, just going off of the opening. And then directly across from this one, you have your second guest room. This one's a little bit smaller. I would say it'd make a really good office space. But it's also, could make a great guest room too. I would say for this one, maybe just don't do a dresser, like just a, a bed and a nightstand and you'd be good. Which I don't think guests need much more. Again, you'll have another French door closet in here. You can tell by how wide the opening is. Closet's about five and a half feet in length. But you can just, I mean, bearing there are no walls yet. There's also no lights or anything, and it's so bright, I don't need them. So this builder does, um, he does build a really beautiful home. And I'll try to send you some example pictures of his previous builds. But just to see if you like this floor plan. That is it. 